That's not us. And we are still today a traction point for many world's leading enterprises like Samsung, who is investing in Vietnam six billion US dollar. And today, by the government meeting, we heard they plan the third project with next three billion US dollar. Our Intel with one billion dollar project in Ho Chi Minh City and other agency companies like Microsoft, IBM, HP, they are presented in Vietnam. But now, after this meeting, you might forget Hanoi, but don't forget Vietnam. It's a country, remember, what to come back. From 90, 1990 to 2013, our economy grew at a rate of 7%. 1980, the GDP per capita in Vietnam was 40 US dollars. You heard right. 40 US dollars GDP per capita in 1980, but today more than 2,000. We were importing every year 1 million ton rice 30 years ago. Today we're exporting 6 million ton rice per year. From a war-torn country, it took Vietnam 25 years to achieve universal primary education in 2000. 20 years just to get five-year education for the kids. But then we needed another 10 years to achieve universal lower secondary school education in Vietnam. So today, all kids achieve at least nine year education in Vietnam. And the third step, we go down, not we go up. We look at kindergarten education. And today, after three years effort, 87% of all villages in Vietnam achieve preschool education for five years old children. So we took care of the kids. We took care of the people. Four years ago, we introduced health insurance free of charge for all kids in age below of six years. So if your grandchildren are in Vietnam, they go to hospital, you don't have to pay. The government pay. Among the adults, Poor people receive support from the government to pay health care insurance too. So that today, by GDP per capita of $2,000, more than 